Live from the pandemic, it's AJ Benza and today's Fame is a Bitch podcast. I'm going to give you some real talk today. That's R-E-E-L talk. Real talk about a new indie film that I think is worth a look. The premise is simple but sinister. You got a couple of rich guys who basically want to make a film where the lead Asian actor is killed for real, as in a snuff film. Why? Because these guys, these rich pricks played by my former gossip columnist colleague, Michael Musto, and Angel Salazar from Scarface, they want to get back at Asians for bringing the Wuhan flu here. So they hire a down and out director who agrees to make the film because this guy can't rub two nickels together and it's the pandemic. New York City's on lockdown. No one's doing shit. At least he'll get paid. So this director hires his physical trainer, who's an Asian guy living down in Chinatown, but he doesn't tell the guy that he's basically starring in his own snuff film where the whole film crew is out to kill him until he has a change of heart midway through the movie. I gotta tell you, I think it's a very interesting premise, especially with Asian hate skyrocketing across the country, killing an Asian actor on film as revenge for the COVID, I don't think has been done or maybe will ever be done again. Uh, well, you should know this. There is a little ass kicking and avenging in the cards, folks, before the movie's over. And it's not from the film crew. It turns out that uh, Bruce Lee ain't got shit on this lead actor as he kicks ass up and down downtown. It's almost as if Brandon Lee had come back to life looking for revenge for what happened on the set of The Crow. Now, the director here, Eric Rivas, does a good job. How he pulled off making this movie on a shoestring budget in the middle of the streets of Gotham on a pandemic, very tall order, and nobody was actually killed. Something Alec Baldwin couldn't pull off even with a $7 million budget. Real talk, this is a real New York film. And if anything, it teaches everybody that this is still the city that never sleeps. And even during the lockdown, Revis and his crew didn't worry about a wink while making this film.